A potential bid for Calgary 2026 has lived to see another day after council voted 8-7 against suspending all work on an Olympic bid. So that means Calgarians will still have their say whether or not they want the Olympics in the city through the November 13th plebiscite. I've said for a long, long, long time in front of many, many cameras and microphones that I am less pro-Olympics than I am pro a great deal for Calgary. And that deal is now facing a vote from the public. Even though the final vote was 8-7 in favor of reconsidering previous approval of the games and the plebiscite, the motion to cancel required 10 of 15 council votes to abandon the plebiscite overall. The deal on the table includes $370 million in city cash, plus $150 million in pre-authorized Victoria Park and Stampede access improvements, as well as another $20 million to cover a premium on a $200 million insurance policy against cost overruns. The province chipped in $700 million and over $1.4 billion will be coming from the federal government. In all, $2.875 billion in public funding. City Olympic Committee Chair Evan Woolley, who voted to suspend the bid, says he couldn't move forward with it with so many unknowns. Today the biggest challenge that I think that the bid corporation has, as well as those who want to see this through, is how can we communicate to Calgarians um, the transaction and the deal in front of them and a whole other litany of questions that I think remained unanswered today. Bidco CEO Mary Moran said she felt heartened by the hundreds of yes supporters who showed up prior to the meeting and feels those even on the fence could yet swing to the yay side after all is said and done. And they are the people that have been quiet to date because they were waiting for the information and now they have the information. We've put a proposal for, for a 10-time return to Calgarians, and uh, we think that the momentum will continue to uh, to build. Now, the November 13th plebiscite is non-binding. However, both federal and provincial funding hinges on a yes vote. In Calgary, Michael Lumsden, City News.